Wednesday here on Quixie 98.3, which means it's time for Forever Friends. It's our weekly segment where we feature cats and dogs that need new forever homes, and we do that with the help of the Hardin County Animal Shelter and help us today with that mission. It is the one and only <laughs> Mike McNutt. <laughs> Thank God there's only one. Only one. <laughs> world couldn't handle anymore. So. I don't know. Mike does a lot of work, right? We, we could use some hardworking people. I, I Well, I enjoy what I do. I think that's the difference. Like, you know, if you enjoy what you do, you never really work. You know what I'm saying? So It's true. Uh, and I really do. You, you know that. You know, I'm probably one of the most content people in my place in the world and uh, here in Hardin County and at the animal shelter. I, I love the staff that I have to work with. I love my family at Quixie. You know, uh, I, I just enjoy life. So, All right. So, the cute and fluffy. Yes, sir. That's what we're here to talk about as per usual. So, the cute and fluffy this week, Darla. Darla is our one-year-old spayed female cat whose fur is brown tiger stripe with bits of white. She loves people and likes to talk to you while she gets attention. Darla's been at the shelter for just over five weeks now and is more than ready to find her new forever home. A little white there it makes her look like she's got some mittens. She was playing in the, she was playing in the uh, the flower. Yeah, she's a she's a pretty cat, and what's weird to me is cats usually go really quick. So it surprises me she's been there five weeks. So. Yeah. Our other side of the cute and fluffy this week, the canine side, is Bonnie. Bonnie is a three-year-old brown and white lab mix. She enjoys car rides to the lake where she gets to chase the ducks and roll in the grass. Bonnie gets along with other dogs and is housebroken. She's been awaiting to find a family now since March. Oh, so likes to chase the ducks. <laughs> I don't know that that's a good thing or not, because if she catches the ducks, it could be, you know. Well, that's true. <laughs> it could be a problem. So, um, of course, we've got a big day coming up this Saturday, June 11th. Um, it is our Rabies and Wellness Clinic, Saturday, June 11th, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. It's cash or check only. Every animal must either, cats must be in a carrier, dogs must be on a leash. No exceptions. Uh, no exceptions. 10 to 2 at the Hardin County Fairgrounds Main Pavilion located at 5617 South Dixie Highway in Glendale. New location. Yeah, please come out and see us. We think it's going to be a lot better set situation for not only the dogs but the owners. Uh, we have more room, um, and we don't have to worry about them standing on the black, uh, the, black top. Right. I mean, we we do appreciate the use of the government building. That was wonderful, and we have grown every year, and we think this year is going to be no exception. And uh, you know, we've got the Paws for Boots guys coming, the soldiers that come in and and walk our dogs on Saturdays. They're going to be there volunteering and helping us. Oh, wonderful! Of course, we'll have Focus there, and uh, some of our regular volunteers. We have some of the best volunteers in the world. Want to send some. Some kudos out to them, man. They are just, I don't know what we do without them. Uh, and, of course, you know, we've got Dr. McIntyre there. If uh, you want him to do an overall health of, evaluation of your dog while you're there, he will be there for that. But other than that, come out and see us. We're going to save some people some money. Awesome. If you have any questions about it, of course, you can call us, 270-769-3428. You can stop by and see us, 220 Peterson Drive. That's Monday through Saturday, 12 to 4. We Except will not for be, this Saturday. Yes, we will not be open that Saturday. You can look us up at Hardin County Animal Shelter KY on Facebook. And, of course, you can go to the county website, hcky.org. And we have, uh, you can fill out an online application. You can also buy your dog license on there now. Uh, it makes it a whole much easier. And if you want to leave a donation for the animals there, you can do that also. And you can see all of our adoptable pets on Pet Finder. Um, just look it up. And it'll actually show you animals within a certain range a uh, certain distance for you so it's very good on helping people locate dogs yeah we we used it recently to find we were looking for a very specific um dog and we it wasn't available here in in harden county and we ended up finding it in um it was uh, all the way out in uh um uh eastern kentucky so it was a little bit of a very good <laughs> but you know if Every person should have the, the pet that they want. I'm a firm believer in that. So if you don't get it from us, you know, just just be a responsible pet owner is all I would ask yeah. anybody. Yeah. Uh, of course, we've talked about 412 animals. All right. And we have adopted out 405 animals. All right. So we need to bridge that gap a little bit. Come in and see us. Help adopt one of the Quixie babies. Um, oh, and there's been, we've had some longtime residents. So yes. let's, let's get them home. Yes, let's do it. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Mike, it's a pleasure as always. Thank you. Forever Friends on Quick C 98.3 is brought to you by our friends, Pet Supplies Plus, on Town Drive in Elizabethtown.